Hi, well today we're going to head somewhere different besides Tampa Bay. We're going to head down to Big Cypress National Preserve. Behind the welcoming center there's a little kayak launch. I got my kayaks loaded up into the back of the Toyota pickup truck. There's some Wilderness Ride 135 kayaks. Pretty decent kayaks. We're going to go down there, see if we can't catch a few fish. Of course, as always, check out the mangroves. Well, we finally made it down here after our four-hour ride, getting ready to unload the kayaks. And of course, here to greet us was the ever-present mosquitoes and the alligator. Good thing is, is I have mosquito spray. I couldn't find the alligator spray. After about an hour of paddling through some open bays, we finally made it back to the mangrove canals. There are actually some really cool mangrove tunnels in here, supposedly. We just got to keep paddling to see if we can't find some of those. Man, there are a ton of spiders in this thing. So we paddled for about another 15 minutes and we're finally starting to get into what seems to be the mangrove tunnel portion of this canal. The actual name of the place is called Halfway Creek. It's an actual... Uh, kayaking trail the canal is actually pretty deep too average is about three to four feet but there were some spots that I came across that were six feet there are markers on this canal to show you where to go but I'd highly recommend a GPS Once you get into some of these open bays and you start looking around, it's like everything looks exactly the same. Even an experienced kayaker would get lost in here. Here we go. I finally seen some of them tarpon rolling. Figured I'd give it a shot and see if we can't catch one or two of them. They were moving kind of fast. I had to move up to catch them. Unfortunately, my shortest rod was 7 foot. So it made it kind of interesting trying to cast and maneuver around all these mangroves without getting snagged up and tangled up. Here we go, little juvenile tarpon. Man, these things are really, really fun to catch. Especially on light tackle, 15 pound test, 20 pound leader, little guy. Even paddling down these canals with these longer rods actually made it kind of difficult. Here we go, there's a little sunspot on the canal. There was a ton of tarpon rolling in here. There's a few bigger ones too, as you'll see. It's amazing how fish can strike out a lure with six hooks on it and still not get hooked. But we'll give it another shot. I actually hooked a decent sized tarp in there. It's about 10 pounds. Pretty hard to keep them out of the mangroves when they're that big and they're that, you're that far back. But I gave it a try. I lost. Fish one. Still a blast.
Amazingly, I didn't spook all the tarpon in there. There was still plenty of tarpon in there, and they just hung right there. Managed to hook another one. I'm in a little better position to land this one, though. These little tarpon are just so much fun to catch. It's mid-January 2016 here. I think these tarpon were just sitting in here sunning themselves, even though it's been really above the average temperatures for uh, January down here in Florida. Well, we got him off. Let's try and see if we can't catch another one. Well, that last tarpon seemed to have moved the school on out. We kept paddling. We found a little open spot in between these little mangrove canals. A little easier to cast. We did come across a rather large gator in here too. This fish here, I'm not sure what it was. They call it a Mayan chichillin or something or chillard. I'm not sure the exact name of it, but they're really common on the uh, canals that line the streets out there on Tamiami Trail. They put up a good little fight too. I see a lot of people keeping them. I guess they eat them. I don't know what the food value is on them. By the way, the lure I've been using is a Rapala uh, jerkbait. A floating jerk bait, not the suspending. The tarpon seem to really like that. It's pretty much the only lure that I've used all day. Another thing that I'm using that I really like is the new Fuji Concept Guides, the Micro Guides. Really great guide. I really like them. Really low to the rod. <clears throat> Makes it pretty hard to bend. But the first two kind of stick out quite a bit. But I still really like it. Casts really good. Trying to see if I can't catch my wife's fish over there. She said that was just rude. Yeah, this little open spot we have here is pretty deep too. It's about six foot deep in here. Yeah, I was really expecting quite a bit more fish in here. I figured the tarpon would have went out here and maybe schooled up but I did not see him after that last tarpon I had caught in there oh here we go I finally hooked a decent sized fish for the day unfortunately like I said the canal is pretty deep so I couldn't use my spike to stop myself from going into the mangroves This is actually a pretty good size snook, around the 30 inch mark. There was just nothing I could do. I actually let him swim and got him out for a split second. But that light leader and he just popped me off. And there goes my last floating Rapala.
So I had to switch over to a little copy of that Rapala that I actually made myself. We'll see how it does. Well, not bad. Got another little snook there. This is more my size right here. I can handle this guy. If I can figure it out, maybe later in the video, I'll show you guys the lure that I made that was catching those. It's kind of hard to see. It's my first video, so I learned that you can't really hear through the waterproof box on the GoPro. But here's some more of those canals. This canal here actually goes all the way to Everglades City if you can figure out how to do it. I think next time I come down, I may have someone drop us off at the welcoming center, paddle down through here, fish all day, and stay up. It's called the Captain's Table. Stay there, and then the next day, paddle back up and fish all day again. Unfortunately, I only had one day down here, so I was kind of rushed. But paddling through these canals and looking down you could see some really really decent sized snook in here I was really surprised they just lay right there in the edge of those mangroves you paddle by them and they don't they know you're there they're not gonna let you catch them but they're still pretty cool to look at we've been paddling for probably four and a half hours now starting to get a little bit later in the day so we know we got at least a four hour paddle back so it's about time for us to head back but this is one of the most beautiful mangrove canals that I've ever been in and the nice thing about it is there's no, you don't have to really worry about the tide too much because the canal is definitely deep enough to paddle The other nice thing about going in the canals here is you don't really have to worry too much about those airboats because they do kind of make you nervous when you hear them go by. And you hope they see you. I think next time maybe I'll put a flag on the top of my kayak so when I'm in the open bays I'm not as nervous about it. That would probably be a really good idea. The other nice thing about this canal being so deep is if you have like one of those Hobie Mirages or you know the Hobie Pro Angler or that native Propel, you probably would not have an issue with the uh, flippers or the propeller hitting the bottom in here. Oh, of course, I catch the big fish when I had the camera off. I managed to turn it on, but at the end of the day, this is the canal going back to the welcoming center. I managed to hook a decent sized snook. It did make me kind of nervous because you don't want to hold fish in the water too long here because there are alligators and there was one across the canal that was kind of eyeballing the snook. I think he's ate one or two. It's a good way to finish the day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this was Halfway Creek behind the Welcoming Center. See you next time.